Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be discussing SCP-6435. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item Number SCP-6435 Classification Level 3 Confidential Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures As SCP-6435 cannot be breached by living souls, physical containment is a non-issue. Possumous communication with agents accepted into SCP-6435 is to continue until coherence is lost. Description SCP-6435 is Afterlife November Romeo 293102, colloquially referred to as Ro. SCP-6435 consists of a colossal forest with a convoluted network of footpaths running through it. While it cannot be confirmed, testimony from deceased agents implies that SCP-6435 is an infinite space. Time within SCP-6435 measures one-to-one -one with reality. SCP-6435 servitors will alternately provide comfort to inhabitants of SCP-6435 and physically torture them. Initially, this reward punishment cycle was believed to operate on a karmic retribution or rotating martyrship system, but further investigation suggests that it is entirely random. As this information is judged too damaging to agents, it is not communicated to them. As an example of typical SCP-6435 conduct, an ordained saint was boiled alive for 19 years straight, continually provided with material comforts for the next two years, and then flayed over the course of a further year. Typically, this unpredictable cycle of torture and pleasure results in the inhabitants of SCP-6435 losing their mental coherency over the course of their first 10 years. Thus, while no mechanism exists to eject spent inhabitants, only a minority of the population is capable of conscious thought at any time. Unlike conventional afterlives, which spawn in response to some strong faith or idealistic need, SCP-6435 bears no religious or ideological markers. At any rate, it is unclear what belief system would have spawned such a reality. SCP-6435 currently accepts 0.01% of deceased souls, while accounting for 14% of human suffering in the post-death ecosystem. If you'll forgive a researcher for editorializing on an anomaly they're not part of the research team on, but I can't help correlate the 0.01% of deceased souls accounting for 14% of human suffering in the post-death ecosystem with the type of people this documentation shows as being accepted into the anomaly, namely Foundation agents and a saint. It is known that Foundation agents are trained to follow unscrupulous orders in the line of duty. We die in the dark and all that. And you don't need me to pontificate on the horrors that have been done in the name of religion. Perhaps the researchers ruled out karmic retribution too soon. Anyways, that ends today's briefing. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.